What's up, and welcome back to my channel, girl. I just finished doing my hair. We did a whole lot of catching up, a whole lot of gold talking, a whole lot of chit chatting. So if you're interested in that, make sure you are tapped in and you don't go nowhere because we're about to get started. my channel girl anyway i just washed a bunch of my hair i'm lying i did it yesterday but um what's today it's not the day after christmas it's the 27th so i just put my hair and chit chat with y'all while i do my hair and it really just be like three seconds girl i split her in half part it down the middle then i come through with my little old ass girl i should have got a extension cord oh i should have definitely got a extension cord it's gonna work my old little red pro one inch flat irons and then i just hit my roots down the center and around this part bust it in half and then go ahead and curl it's a little ghetto it's real quick it never really takes me long to do my hair for real but y'all i wanted to talk to y'all because when i tell you there is so much power in the tongue right and like <laughs> it's so crazy because it becomes even more real once you like write it down or say it out loud whatever it is that like you're wanting or you're dreaming or like the things that you want to accomplish etc etc i was with my mother and we were talking about all the things that we want to accomplish this is it's hot but it need to get a little hotter all the things we want to accomplish before like the new year so she around the house right so she's like i want to have my entryway done and my stairs and yada 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 and i'm like girl oh my gosh i want to have my foyer like y'all know if you've been here then you know like we've been you doing some renovating on the house but i never finished like painting the foyer upstairs and like pulling up the carpet upstairs and yada yada like we got all the stuff for it except for the paint we ran out but we have like everything else and I never finished doing it. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to finish my foyer upstairs. And I want to, um, I want a desk for my clothes. I want a rug for my bedroom. And I was like, and if God willing, if he just really want to go all out, girl, he going to get a girl a dresser. And when I tell you that same week, I want to say like the very next day that we had the conversation, I found the rug for my bedroom. Threw me for a loophole. Girl, at the depot. Are you kidding me? Oh, girl, the rug. It's so amazing. It feels so good. It's everything I was looking for. And y'all know, if you got a house or if you into decorating or renovating and all that, rugs are so hard to like find or like decide or like the texture, like what's your vibe, like the color scheme, like, you know, because nobody want to keep switching out rugs. But they're really hard to like come across and they're expensive. So I found the rug at Depot like girl the very next day or like within like 48 hours. It was wild. Um, and then... Um, as you know, I got my desk from my office. Not the one I wanted, but I got it. And I was just like, girl, it's so much pop. I put the other clips. Let me grab another clip. Okay. I was just so amazed. I was like, man, it's so crazy. Like when you start speaking things into a sense, how quickly things can really happen for you. So I was sitting down and I was watching my girl Shelly. I should have grabbed two. That's okay. I was watching my girl Shelly and she did like a wish list video on like all the things that she desired or whatever within like the next new year and i forgot that like the og youtubers used to be doing that and i was like oh that's cute and i was like it made me think of like my mother and i were just talking about um the things that we want to accomplish with our home by the end of the year y'all when i curl my hair i only like to curl the ends i don't like curls like 
full spiral curls throughout the hair unless it's like long curls which i haven't done it in a really long time and i do have a wine curl but i'm not gonna do that you know what i want to do i have rollers and i just found them in the basement i thought i lost them and i was like oh i'm gonna roll my hair um instead of wrapping it tonight so i think that'd be cute but anywho um she had did one and i was like oh my gosh my mother and i was just talking about this and i was like i should definitely film a video about my wish list because like i said there's power baby in the tongue okay so that's what i want to talk to y'all about today like just setting these goals you know what i'm saying making it plain write it out you know typically i don't like to share like the things that i that are like on my wish board or things like that because you know i like to just do shit keep using me and god y'all open the window because i need a little air in here my suit don't work in here and then just let it happen but this, the things that are on my wish list are not that crazy and they're already been coming into fruition so i was like yo i gotta share this with my girls because baby the proof is in the pudding okay the proof is in the pudding so i wrote my stuff down let's go through the list real simple we're gonna start everything really do gotta do with my house i'm not gonna lie but because i mean the older you get the more you just realize the things that are really important to you and making my home feel like a home is number one priority for me. I can care less about anything outside of that for real, in terms, especially in terms of like materialistic items. So, anywho, um, let's start with, I put it in categories. So I said, oh, my bedroom. My bedroom, y'all, I found, okay, so my dresser, <laughs> not my dresser, my uh, closet in my bedroom has no door. It's just an open closet, which would be really cute if you wanted to design it like give it an aesthetic look but all my man's shoes or majority of them is in that closet there will be no aesthetic look happening in that closet so i gotta cover her up and initially when i first saw i was like oh my gosh i always wanted to do barn doors right and i was like you gotta do barn doors yada 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 but then when i got to looking into it i realized that you need space to slide the door i don't have space to slide no damn barn door but what i did find is like oh y'all know those doors that open up they're like trifold doors oh my gosh i hate them but on Amazon, I found this door that's like a tricor door that gives you a barn look, like a barn door look. It's so cute. I'm gonna insert pictures as I'm talking about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, they only want like 264. That's it. I got it. I want it. It's like the next thing I urgently like just really want for my bedroom because I feel like it'll just help bring it together. I got my rug. Y'all know I put my little cute little uh plant in there. I found a cute little pot that uh, from the depot. Girl, the depot is it, okay? I had a pot on Amazon, my Amazon wish list, that cost like $100. And I was like, girl, I just can't justify spending $100 on no damn planter. And then I went to the depot because I needed to replant my plant. And I found the same planter or one that looked very similar for $50. I said, oh, mama, you coming home with me. <laughs> you coming home with me that day. So... I feel like my bedroom is coming together. I just got to get like my curtains and my dresser and like, you know, little knickknacks. But it's starting to finally feel like a bedroom. And I'm really excited about it. So anywho, that door is like one of the first things on my wish list that I want to get, you know, within the new year. So I'm excited about that. And then also my dresser. The dressers that I've been looking at are really freaking expensive. I hate that my eye just <sighs> is beyond my budget. <laughs> But I am in love with this uh, dresser from freaking, I want to say it's at West Now. I got to find it and I'll link it. Hold on. I feel like I just started talking like I got distracted because my man was here. Anywho, this is my self-care day. Typically, I do this on Sunday. I did my nails. I did my feet. I'm feeling good. I'm doing my hair. Like, this is my me time. But I'm sharing it with you, girls. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Anywho, back to the scene. <laughs> I think it's on West M. And it's just so freaking expensive. I haven't been able to find a dresser outside of that that I really love. So I'm like, you know what? I'm putting her on my wish list. She's gorgeous. The wood, the finish. I think it'll match perfect even with my door that I found. And so I'm really geeked about it. So anywho, that's on my wish list. New dresser, new door for my bedroom. Um, What else? In my office, I really need to find a rug. Which I kind of got one of my Amazon uh, storefront. But I'm not like super crazy about it but it's one of those things was like oh this will work you know what i mean but you know how i am about like buying in between pieces like but it's cute though i feel like it'll work it's only like a hundred dollars maybe like 140 really 
Uh, so I'm on a rug, a ceiling fan because my this is the only fan in my house that do not work. The one in my bear, in my office. So I need a new ceiling fan, a rug. Um, uh, what else is on there? A new bedroom door, <laughs> y'all. Because my door, that's my honey. And I was just talking about it has no knob on there, which you could just put a knob on there. But it also, I don't think it fits the frame, so it doesn't shut. So anyway, I just need a new bedroom door, which we think is only like $100, which is not that big of a deal. So I want a new bedroom door, a new rug, a new ceiling fan, like just little stuff to kind of just help to continue to bring the room together. And then, um, obviously I need to get an actual chair. Right now I'll be chilling in my little lawn chair, which is okay. It helps, it gets the job done. So I'm not really tripping about it too much. Um, so yeah. Y'all, why I put on my list for the kitchen, I'm like, I'm really about to reach and I'm about to just dream big, right? I'm about to, I'm just gonna go there because why not? Because everything else that I've been saying out of my mouth been coming to pass. So I might as well just go ahead and reach for the stars, girl. I put a new refrigerator and new stove. New refrigerator and new stove on my list. The night, like the, the look, I can't even get it out because I'm so excited about it. The very next day, the very next day after I wrote this list, my man was like, guess what the hell I just found? A freaking refrigerator. It's, it's, it's used, don't get me wrong. She knew, she used, but she's a beauty. And it's a major upgrade from the refrigerator that we had because my ice machine and my water machine didn't work on that refrigerator, which honestly was my only complaint about it. And then occasionally it will leak. Not like a lot, but it just leak a little bit of water. And I'm like, okay, I just, I just wanted a refrigerator. And um, the very next day he found one on sale. You know, use and I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to tell him, like, babe, I was writing this wish list, and then we talked about all this. It's basically, since I just talked to my mother, and I'm like, this is crazy. Like, I have to film this video. Um, so we got a new refrigerator. So that's already been checked off the list, y'all. Like, and it hasn't even been a new year, and I've been tripping out. It makes my kitchen already look so updated and so modern. Like, I'm so excited about it. Having to get ice for my coffee or my beverages. And just go and it come out. Are you kidding me? I ain't got to sit there and be cracking ice cubes no more. Girl, that's been the best thing. I'm looking like a very, very, very blessed, very blessed girl. Um, and that tripped me out. I said, oh my gosh, where's the stove thing? It must be like right around the corner, girl. Um, yes. But anywho, I put that on my list and we got it. So it's a perfect little upgrade piece until we're able to get like do our four renovations and get the refrigerator that we actually really want, which I think is the one that's kind of like a little touch screen. It's not necessary because the one we have is really nice. Uh, we're just replacing like the drawers and stuff. But y'all, that tripped me out. I said, baby, if that ain't proof in the pudding, I, if you don't, believe, you don't believe in nothing, I mean, golly, golly. Um, so I put that on there, I was so excited. So that's my kitchen. Those are the main things that I really want. I'm not too pressed about like trying to hurry up and like renovate the cabinets and stuff like that. Because I feel like it'll just come in due time. The main thing that I really want in terms of like a big purchase, y'all. When I tell you I need a couch, okay? I need a sofa expeditiously. I, <laughs> and I got to the summertime. That is the goal. I got to the summertime. I am not playing around. I need a sofa. Like, first off, I'm so happy that now I got this desk. So I'll be chilling in my office. But baby, I'd be like, I will be in my living room living the life if I had a freaking sofa. And I want a leather sectional. I've been looking. They've been ranging from like the ones I'm like, okay, yeah, she's cute. Um, like 4000 up. And I was like, damn, should I just finance her? I don't know. Because I really would just love to cash her. Girl, I'm trying to clear all my debt. I don't have time to be piling on debt on top of debt. Which is why I've been taking so long to like even get her in the first place. But um, that's like a really big, that's the next big major purchase that I want to do for our home. It's a freaking sofa and a freaking rug. Once I do those, I'm going to feel, oh my gosh, I'm never leaving home. I barely leave home now, girl. I'm never leaving after that. Like what? Are you kidding me? living room what i put on there look leather sectional and i've been debating on like the colors i want to go with y'all i've really been into like a chocolate gray which is weird because i thought i was gonna go with like this 
cognac brown looking color i don't know it's still up in the air really it's all about what's gonna fit in the budget and like what's gonna look good in my living room but i'm putting all these things on my wish list because baby like i said the proof is in the pudding <laughs> and by the end of that shoot when y'all start seeing all this stuff falling off you're gonna be like damn i should have made my wish list too this is not like a vision board nothing like that it's just like speaking things into existence over your life when i did my last vision board the physical copy one everything on there i still have it i did it like years ago it has to be like at least six years old girl everything on that wish list i mean on that vision board has come to pass it's wild it's literally i'm like oh i want a new car i got a new car oh i want to um work out been working out like every literally down to the details it trips me out so i i just a firm believer in like speaking things into existence um so yeah those are one of the things let me see then i think i did put like some materialistic shit on my list but nothing crazy um oh fragrance i smelled that freaking bitter peach time for it and i didn't think that i was gonna like it so i think it i'm gonna have to check but i could be wrong but i think it has because somebody's like it smells like it has marshmallows in it i'm like that's not really my vibe um but somebody gave me a sample and i sprayed it on my skin girl <laughs> she smells so good it's really more of a spring scent summer scent but i got her on my list because i think she like 300 dollars. i said <laughs> honey hush oh talking to y'all i need to curl my damn front of my hair right i usually pull it because that's oh that's because my cord is short too curl it back and that way it falls you feel me you know how you get your hair feathered and it fall it falls like that so i didn't do that right because in the real life i don't know how to multitask so trying to talk and do my hair at the same time is a real challenge, honey. It's a challenge, but we doing it and we here. Hey, 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 hey. Let me try to touch this up. Hold on. Just a little bit. Okay, that's better. That's a little better. Boom. See how I do that? I split her in half, cut her in half again, do it in four sessions basically. And then I pin this side up while I do the other side. I probably would've been done, honestly, I won't say if you're talking to y'all. It really only takes me a couple seconds to do my hair. This is a reach. This is not even really like something I'm like, oh, I just desperately gotta have this. But I just think it's cute. I seen it and I thought it was cute. So I put like a Chanel car holder on my wish list. I just think it's cute. So, um, I don't really be liking thick wallets or big wallets. Uh, car holders are like more so my jazz. Unless the wallet is small, you feel me? Because you know I don't even like big bags for real, girl. Um, oh, this is so hard to do with this cord being short. I should have got a stitching cord. So, I put that on there. That's not really that big of a deal, but just the black one. The regular black one with the gold seeds. I think it's super cute, elegant, timeless. Like, just a little piece. A little piece to have. So, uh, I put that on there. But anywho, I want a new vlog camera. And I've really been digging that Sony ZV-10. Um, and I was like, I put that on my list. I want that, a camcorder, and a boom mic. For when I am sitting down. Because I learned that lavaliers don't work for me. Am I driving the clip? Whatever, I'm just going to pay her over here. Lavaliers don't work for me. And lavaliers are the ones that you, like, clip on you. And you talk, I'm too extra. I do a lot of moving. I talk with my hands. Like, you will just hear the static and me moving all damn day. I tried it. It, it doesn't work. So, um, a boom mic is something that I can just put on a pole and aim it down. You feel me? And I can just talk and the audio sound really good. So, that's something that I, uh, girl, let me just talk. Let me get another clip. Because I'm struggling, Jesus. Just struggle. It's getting what's up. <laughs> um, so I'll put that on there. So I'm really excited about that. I think that what I'm gonna do is really break down for my birthday and like buy it for myself because vlogging on my phone is being really difficult. The way that you gotta hurry up and transfer port this footage onto your hard drive because it's taking up so much freaking space, especially because I'll be filming in 4K. Um, it takes up so much space. I can't never do nothing. Else and whenever I want to double film, 
I can't do it because I'm vlogging on my damn phone. But I don't be wanting to like not vlog horizontally because that's what you need for YouTube. Then sometimes it transfer over nicely in post if I change it to vertical. And sometimes it don't. So sometimes I just be wanting to film for like TikTok and YouTube at the same time. Y'all know how much I freak. I'm not going to say I hate TikTok because I don't. Okay, wait. Let me figure out what I'm doing. I need you to stay here. Gosh, I do not know how to monetize this. This is crazy. And you to come here. It's just I haven't figured out. I just haven't figured it out. I don't, I just haven't figured out TikTok. It's just, YouTube is my lane. <laughs> That's the one thing that I'm confident in that like, I can do this. Them other social sites, I just be too much. Anyway, I'm trying to get better. And I feel like if I can find a way to vlog and film TikTok at the same time, I'm gonna be winning. So I need to get a vlog camera in order to make it happen. So yeah, so that's my wish list. And honestly, y'all, that's it. <laughs> it's real small. It ain't nothing crazy. Like nothing too expensive. Nothing that I feel like I can't accomplish by the end of next year. Um, but all things that I really do desire, other than my Chanel holder, just something that I want, but it's not necessary, you know. Um, so yeah, those are all the things. So girl, I'm gonna encourage you, okay? Sit down and think about the things that you really want, the things that are going to make you happy. It doesn't matter if they're expensive or inexpensive. Write it down, make a plan, and baby, watch it come to life. Okay? Watch it come to life. But anywho, like I said, it is a couple days past Christmas. <clears throat> I don't know if I ever told y'all this, but like, my parents have completely different views on holidays. My mother is a holiday girl, Okay? She loved the holidays. She wants the family to come together. Like, she loved the spirit of it. It's the whole energy, the vibe. Like, my mother's full holiday girl. My father does not believe in holidays. He doesn't believe in birthdays. He never have, like, even growing up. I would be like, I don't recall ever getting anything for my father for Christmas or, um, what do you call that? Or my birthday. I have one birthday where I think I turned 13. My father pulled up and gave me, like, two birthday cards or maybe, like, girl like twenty dollars in each or some shit like that and i was like what <laughs> this is dead ass true story i'm like what am i supposed to do with this and he looked at me like what you mean that's forty dollars or something it was either 20 in each car or 40 in each car but it was less than hundred dollars is what i'm saying i said father i make more money doing hair like i don't know if you i don't know if you hit but baby i've been doing this hair shit for a minute okay I'm making way more money than this. This is some change. He gonna bust out laughing like, wow. Like, wow, daughter. I really thought this was something. Um, but yeah, he never, he never, you know, believed in it. So I've always had a very neutral, you know, idea or perspective on holidays. Like when I lived by myself, when I graduated college, I went back home and lived with my mother for like, Maybe two years, maybe. How old was I when I graduated? I, I'm, we're just gonna say two years. And then I got my first apartment. I was in my first apartment by myself for four years. I never put up a Christmas tree. I never like put up any type of decor. Um, in none of my previous relationships, they were like, I guess really big on holidays. So it just was never nothing that I like really celebrated. So I went up to my mom's house. I love the energy, don't get me wrong, I love the energy and spirit of the holidays too. Like, it makes me feel very happy, like, to see everybody happy, you know. But I just always had a very neutral stand. And then, until I got with my honey, and the holidays are everything for him, he's like my mom. <laughs> so, it just makes you, like, excited about it too. Wait, why did I get on this topic? What was I about to tell you? Oh, because Christmas just passed. <laughs> I was about to start talking about Christmas. Um... And I was going to say, like, I hope y'all had a nice Christmas if y'all do celebrate Christmas or Kwanzaa. Uh, the first day of Kwanzaa was yesterday, actually. Um, I celebrated that once with, like, a previous person. But, yeah, I guess I'm just super open-minded, kind of go-with-the-flow kind of girl. I'm into it. Like, if you've been here, you've been following. Like I said, it's our second vlogmas we just did. Um, and I'm like, y'all, I'm new to this. Like, I'm new to all this home decor decorating stuff you know part of me be feeling like this is a lot of waste of money but the energy and the vibe that will feel really good like i can't lie so i don't know i guess i'm very in the center about it 
but I had a really beautiful Christmas. Uh, spending time with my family and my honey family and the whole nine. So I do hope that if you do celebrate, that you had a good time. And if you don't celebrate, that you still had a good time. You know what I'm saying? With yourself, doing whatever it is that you like to do for you, boo. Period. <laughs> don't make nobody make you feel like you got to do something that you don't want to do. You know what I mean? My father always talking about these man-made holidays. I'd be like, child, sometimes that should be a little depressing. Um, but yeah, I know how it can get. So, I just wanted to say that. And I hope you had a good time. But anywho, I am excited about this new year, y'all. I was talking to my honey about the things that I want to accomplish um, in the new year. And the biggest thing that's on my list is networking. When somebody is thinking about needing a videographer or a photographer or an editor, anything in the production realm, my name needs to be in the conversation. I used to do a lot more photo shoots and, you know, um, freelancing work when I was younger, when I first got out of college. That's when, the, like, I feel like the drive was different. I was so hungry. I'm still hungry. Don't get it wrong, girl. I'm still hungry. Like, okay, if you can't feel the hunger, I don't know. This probably ain't the channel for you. <laughs> but I'm still very much so hungry. But it was a different kind of drive and hunger and, like, fearlessness that I feel like I had when I was in my fresh out of college, fresh in my young 20s. I was like, girl, I'm doing it all. Okay? It was nothing that I want to do. My man first met me. He like, what, what do you do? Like, what do your schedule look like? I said, baby, let me tell you something. Okay? I'm busy. I had a full-time job. I was doing hair part-time. I was doing production work part-time. Like, if I ain't doing at work, I'm at working on something else. And it, that's how I was. And I loved it. And I was like, I want to get back to that. And not being that busy, but just being more intentional about the work that I want to do and the things that I want to accomplish in life. You know what I mean? The older you get, it just really be tripping me out. Like, damn, we the new generation now. Like, we have been new adults. We have to care about things that we never really cared about. For me, like, okay, not to make this all deep and political and shit, but I, I've i never been big on politics, you know what I mean? And I think that has a lot to do with the way that you're raised. It just wasn't a topic of conversation for real, you know what I mean? Not that deep to where I'm like, oh, I totally follow politics. I'm like, you know, no, like you vote for the president every four years and that's it. But we never, nobody ever talked to me about paying attention to the small elections that are in your city and that are in your state that really make the impact, like, in the schools, in the neighborhoods, like, the roads, the shit they get built. Like, it just was never a conversation. There's nothing I talk about with my friends, my family. So, the older I get, I'm like, girl, if you want to have children, you, you, I have to care about this shit. Like, I have to care about the things that are going on in my communities. I want to get more involved. You know, like my mental, like you just feel, oh, I don't know. I should say I, I feel myself changing. I can feel it when I, when I'm like reaching this new evolution of like life. And I feel like it do happen like kind of like every couple of years. That's like every five years you, you kind of go through a change. That shit is legit. Okay, baby. Because even when I was approaching 30, I felt it. When I was 28, I already was like, baby, I'm, it's giving 30. I was already thinking, you know what I mean? And now that I'm 30 plus, I'm just like, I gotta care about shit that I never cared about. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I should've split that in half. And it's just, it's really tripping me out. It really be tripping me out, y'all. So I don't even know how the hell I got on it. That'd be my problem. I'd be talking. It's like I've been needing to keep notes cause I don't even know where I'd be going. <laughs> Why was I going with that point? I had a point I was trying to get to. I don't even remember. Now watch when I start editing. I'm like, damn, that's what I was trying to say. Huh. Anywho. I'm excited about this new year. Oh, that's what I was saying. I was telling you about the things that I want to accomplish. I want to uh, network more. One of the girls, I had did a Q&A on my, um, what do you call that, Instagram. And one of the girls was like, what would you recommend, like, you know, to like 20 year olds like to do i'm not gonna network never 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 i want to network more um and i just want to be more intentional 
about my time. I'm like, in between all this trying to live life and follow your dreams and your goals and shit like that, I also want to, I don't want to forget to actually enjoy life either. I got to get outside more. Y'all, I'm such a homebody. It's, I think it's great. Like, I don't think nothing wrong with it, but there's so much life. There's so much life to be lived. There's only so much, honey, you can do in the house. So yeah, so now we're working on something that I want to do more. One of my clients was telling me about this program where she, um, she, it's kind of like a big sister program where, you know, you pick the high school that you want to go to. You can get up to like, I think maybe four mentees, and the mentees pick you. So I think that's pretty dope because it's like, okay, well, y'all actually really rocking with me given whatever it is I'm doing that you may be interested in. So, you know, you can mentor them, yada, yada. And she told me that she was actually mentoring some girls that go to my old high school. And I'm like, nah, that's dope. That's freaking dope. I would love to do something like that. Go back to my high school and like mentor some girls. And my high school ain't did nothing but level up since I graduated girl. First off, they're not even in the same building. That's something with this itself. They got a new building. And it's more like, if you're from the D and you know about DSA, DSA is the high school that I wanted to go to. So that's the Detroit, Detroit School of Performing Arts. That's the school like Aaliyah went to. You know, it's like, that's the high school I really want to go to. My mother didn't let me go because she like, girl, uh-uh, I gotta work, I can't take you, and I'd be damned if you get on the bus by yourself. So I went to CMA, it was more, which is more of a, um, what, what, what would you call that? A sports-based high school. Girl, you know, I'm not a sports girl, okay? That is not cute. I am not a sports girl. I mean, like, now, like, I get sports, I understand it, but back then, child, I didn't know nothing about damn sports. I'm not trying to go there. But it's a college prep school. I was like, uh-uh, that's it. You ain't going to these neighborhood <laughs> high schools. You go on, you getting your education where you get the hell up out of here. So I went there, but now they're kind of navigating to like sports, but also like art. And I think that's so cool. So I was like, oh my gosh, send me the deets. Like, I want to be a part of that. I would love to like go back and talk to the girls and like do some mentorship. So that's what I mean about just being more intentional with my time. Um, and the things that I involve myself in and the people that I, girl, not this whole piece that I surround myself around. I know somebody was um, asking me about how I be curling my hair. And so, girl, if you tap in, I hope you see that I literally just curl the ends. And then I, you know, when I wrap it, she do what she do. But like I said, I think I'm going to do my rollers this time. Uh, but yeah. So, we went into the new year. Make sure y'all are cleaning your homes, deep cleaning your homes. I've been doing that since, girl, yesterday. I think, oh, speaking of, I need to put that load in the dryer. And then I got another load, one more load to watch. And then I'm good. I've been cleaning in my zone, in my vibe. Um, oh, y'all, this book that I got the other day in my vlog that I showed y'all, that's how I had it. I read the introduction. I, I said, God damn it, clear. What a way to grab a girl. Like, I mean, I'm reading this introduction. I'm like, whoo, shit. Okay, I know what's up with the right, you baby. Woo. What? What the fuck happened after that? Like, that's how I was reading the introduction to this book. And I was like, oh, I got to get to, you know, reading it because I was very interested in what he had to say. And I started, it was like five o'clock in the morning. And I was like, oh, that's one of the habits that I want to create when I wake up. It's just being intentional about the things that I give my energy to. Like the first few things I give my energy to. I was going to wake up, give my moments to God. And then I was like, I would love to read a chapter in the morning. Every morning when I'm having my tea or my coffee, my breakfast, whatever. I would love to read a chapter of any book. Um, just to kind of get my brain going to something positive. I feel like as soon as we wake up, and my alarm is my phone, like most of us. And you get your phone... And before you know it, girl, now you're on the toilet, you scrolling through social media. Like, I, I don't want that to be my life. I don't want social media to be the first thing that I gravitate to in the morning or music. Um, unless it's like slow meditation music or something. Like, I just don't want that to be my life. I want to wake up, spend some time with God, read a chapter. Because when I did that, I really loved the way I felt. I was like, gosh, this feels like a really good productive morning like i just felt real good about it you know so that's something that i'm really trying to like work and be disciplined in and i think 
it's, it's teaching you how to create healthy habits. I can't wait till I actually start diving into the book. So I think that the more you do it, the more you practice, the more it becomes part of your life. It becomes routine. And so it's nothing for me to get up, talk to God, read a chapter or whatever book I'm reading. You know what I'm saying? Have my breakfast, work out. I love to work out in the morning. I hate doing it in the afternoons or the evenings because I just, again, it makes me feel more responsible. <laughs> it makes me feel productive. I just, I just feel like I'm on my day. Like, I just feel really good about it. And when I get home and I'm winding down, I feel like you you had a great day today. You didn't waste a second of your day doing anything that's not going to serve you, you know. Um, so that's something that I really want to incorporate. I'm excited to keep diving into that book. I pulled my hair up because I do want to do, like, not makeup makeup, but just like a little bit. Like a little bit. Because I want to film an actual video today. So I'm just gonna keep my little quick five minute B stuff in. I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. And then do a little mascara eyeliner, lip gloss, and that's it. I'm gonna bring my mirror closer. Y'all, this is one of the things that I got for Christmas. And you can like adjust the lighting. It's so perfect to have like on your desk especially to try to do stuff like this mm, that's good i'm gonna bring her up it's so crazy because my mother has been in her like makeup bag y'all so for christmas y'all look at my head my skin is breaking out so bad i gotta put my cream on it um for christmas i had got her like a like a makeup starter kit if you will because she was telling me, like, I don't have, like, a cosmetic bag or, like, nothing to put my little makeup in. I just be throwing them in, like, you know how you buy sheets? And, like, the bag that the sheets come in, she's like, I just be throwing it in the bag. I'm like, girl, that's... No. No. We ain't about to do that now, ma. So, I bought her, like, a cute little acrylic drawer desk um, for, like, I think from, like, Marshalls, girl. You know, Marshalls be having all the little things. From Marshalls. And then she was telling me about this Chanel Chance perfume that she smelled that she loved. My mother and I both love fragrances. And I was like, oh, I got the Chanel Chance, but I got the pink one. She was telling me about the green one. I said, oh, no, I haven't smelled that yet, girl. So I got her that. And what I basically, oh, let me just break it down. Because <clears throat> my brain is moving faster than my damn mouth. Um, so I got her the Chanel Chance Green Chanel Mascara chanel eyeliner the chanel like clip to like clip your lashes to like curl them basically um just like a bunch of little chanel products like chanel this bomb pretty ass red oh i wanted to keep it for myself honey so pretty uh and i basically just like wrap all the items up and put them in like a different item in like different drawers you know what i mean so it could just be like a whole little experience and she was so thankful and so grateful and um I thought it was so cute and I was I said it to say because I wanted to find her like a little light like this and I couldn't find one and when I found it was like she was too much I was just wasn't willing to pay for it that's a real that's a real tea and then kind of found out girl why she got the same light for Christmas my dad actually bought it for her my man bought this for me and my dad bought the same exact light for my mom I said oh this is funny so it worked out that I didn't find her one because her husband got it for her anyway She's so cute, y'all. She's like, I'm a blog. Um, all the stuff I got for Christmas. My mom had a beautiful Christmas. She's so spoiled. She is so freaking spoiled. I was like, okay, girl. She's definitely that girl who be blogging with no social medias. Actually, she finally snuck and made a damn Facebook. I don't want her to be on social media for some reason. Like, she could be on my channel all day. I don't even want her to be on social media, y'all. Social media is not a nice place. And my mom is my world and she is the sweetest thing she's just the sweetest thing and so like mm -mm. i don't even know about saying nothing crazy to her let's keep it cute okay i don't know she made one job and she like she always been talking about i want a podcast though like i want to talk to the girls like the girls just oh see this mirror right here on the left this is a good one because this one like zoomed in so i need to be all in the mirror looking crazy like, I want to talk to the girls, blah, blah, blah. The girls need somebody to talk to. I'm like, the girls do need somebody to talk to, girl. But damn. I don't want to. I don't want you to be out there on the media. I don't want it. Unless we turn off the comments. I don't know. 
I'm just so protective over her. But she's like, I'm gonna film it. I said, okay, girl. You know she's gonna send it to me. She's so funny. She called me, told me we were gonna see the color purple. I said, girl, I don't even remember the first color purple. Let's just be for real. <laughs> I don't even remember the first color purple, but okay, girl, we can go. I love the cast. And Miss uh, Auntie Roger been talking out about not getting her money, honey. She is not playing with the people. I love that for her. And everybody that's, you know, following behind her. She better start speaking up and opening up the right doors. Um, But yeah, I guess we're supposed to be going. Let me just bring her closer. She's like, why am I struggling? For what? For what? So we're going to go... Ouch! Told you I came more by task. Oh, and I didn't even bring Q-tips in here. We're supposed to be going to see the color purple, girl. Friday. What's today? Wednesday? So, if y'all want to see it, let me know. And we can talk about it. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to vlog it. So, let me know. I was trying to figure out if I should watch the original before I go. Because sometimes, I know The Color Purple is a classic movie. And I know, like, the classic lines. I just don't remember, like, the the premise of the film. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm like, damn. Should I rewatch it? But I know that, like, some movies, some movies you just don't need to touch. And I'm hoping, like, this is not one of them. But really, I guess since I don't know the original, it don't matter. <laughs> it don't even matter. Like I said, I'm not really doing much. I'm just going to cover up a few dark spots because I just want to feel put together a little bit. This is um a little Fenty. My hyper presentation around my mouth. Oh, I need to shave. That mustache coming in. Child, goodbye. It's so bad. I'm trying out some new skin products right now. So I'm going to wait to like tell y'all because I really want to see. If it makes a difference, especially my hyperpigmentation around my mouth. My allergies up on my nose so much, so that's why I'm so dark around my mouth. It's not flattening. Oh, I should have put on some color corrector. But like I said, I'm in the house. I'm not doing nothing. I just want to feel a little bit more put together. Honey. I just want to feel a little more put together, honey. So that's how I do do this a little bit. Give yourself time to together a little bit. Say whoop whoop. Oh whoop 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 whoop. My eyebrows need to be threaded. It's time. I'm not gonna drag this out. <clears throat> it's been so hard trying to figure out this makeup no makeup look. I really figured it out though. I feel like in one video I filmed this um this question and answer videos like the last q a video i did on my channel and in that video girl oh my makeup was so fucking pretty so bronzy so glowy but so natural i really took my time with her and i didn't use like any um i really used all the same products i just really took my time when i did it um uh, but no foundation it was literally just concealer the one I'm putting in my eyes, the one I just used, and I color corrected, which made a difference. And just some freaking blush girl and a little bronzer. It was so fucking pretty. Like, oh my gosh. So, but that is more of like a, my 15, 20 minute beat. This is my realistic ass five minute beat. And it's not really a beat. It's just, let me just add a little highlight to my inner corner so I look a little woke. That's my little tip, especially when I'm exhausted and I'm tired of working doubles. 
I'm a child. You can see it all in my eyes how sleepy I am. I love to put like just a little dab in my corners. Do a little bit of blush. I really want to try like a plum purple blush. Y'all, I seen this uh, girl on the top and she chocolate like myself. And she put on this purple blush. I said, oh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And it's perfect for like, uh, I feel like this season. This is giving more summertime. But I love the way that she kind of melts into the skin. And then I seen this one chick where she used like this Real Beauty um, blush and mixed it with uh, some moisturizer. You talking about glow from within? Y'all, y'all don't want to see me do a real B face. Because in a minute, <laughs> you're not going to be able to tell me nothing. But you see how I, I just look a little bit more put together? I like it when I take like that extra five minutes in the daytime before work to really love on me. I'm going to go in a little bit more. This uh hella thick. My Fenty. She be having my girls hella thick. Thick delicious. My lashes going back so nicely. I had tore these daddies up, girl, wearing them down. Lash extensions. Ladies, you gotta take breaks, okay? Your lash girl, lash, especially the lash extension girl, y'all be going like every week, every two weeks, constantly getting that glue put on your lash, especially if you like your lashes heavy. There be two, three, four lashes on one single eyelash, like, when your lashes down, y'all, you have to take breaks, ladies. I used to do like a full set, a fill in, a soap off, a full set, a fill in, a soap off. Cause I was like, uh-uh, I need to protect my lashes. And none of my lashes broke off in the sense where I was bald headed in terms of like gaps in my lashes, but I did lose my length. The length girl was not length and it was gone. I said, oh no, I'm taking a break. And I started using like castor oil and like this lash growth serum that I really, really like. I haven't used it in a while though. Um, but it's called Grande Lash. You can get it at the store. It's really expensive though, I ain't gonna lie. But she do work. And once I started seeing my lashes go back, it's probably gonna kind of slow down. But I'm gonna start, I'm, I'm gonna buy some more. <clears throat> Cause I wanted to get my lashes to a point where they look like this without mascara. <laughs> this the real go with my eyeliner. I'm put a little eyeliner on, a little bottom lash, and then we're good done. You know, I feel like I just been on here talking about a lot of nothing, but a little bit of something. A lot of nothing and a little bit of something, hey. I gotta get some um, Q-tips. Whenever I hit the Whenever the mascara kind of hit get on my eyelids, get a Q-tip, dip it in some Vaseline, she rolls right off. See, I never told you nothing, baby. Don't say I never told you nothing. Little bit bottom lash moment. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. That's it. Nothing crazy. I just want to look a little more alive. Alive. Should I do a little fancy blush? What's this? Sheets out. Summertime wine. I really like this. I always be thinking to say summertime fine. Just how pretty she is. And I just be like taking her... It's kind of giving, like, the color I said I want to try, but not really. It's more on the, like, burgundy side. I want to kind of try, like, a purple, deep purple. But, yeah, that's it. I just want to look a little more put together. I don't have no fancy gloss in here. I think I took it off. I like this lip balm I've been using, though. I got this the other day, and I went to... I think Sephora or Alta, whatever one of the places I went to. Um, it's a citrus lip balm. Mm -hmm. Orange citrus lip balm infused with citrus and turmeric extracts. 
it smell really good. And I think it's just like probably like a natural lightening. My lips are so chocolate. I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, can I get any lighter, please? Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it, my mind. I just wanted to chop game with y'all. Tap in a little bit. I'm so excited about this new year, y'all. I want to get even more creative with my content. Uh, I want to have some fun. So make sure y'all tap in. Always welcome to drop suggestions in the comment box. Let me know like what y'all want to see, what y'all been enjoying. Because um, when I asked y'all, y'all want to implement different kind of content, y'all was like, yes, girl. Please give me something new. So I've been, I've been doing that, doing a little one-off video, still giving you vlogs, long vlogs, short form content, the whole nine. But like, let me know what y'all been feeling so we can like keep it going, you know. I'm really excited about this. I'm up from here. We're on our road to 1K. So it feels like a really long journey. For some people, they've been able to get there in a month, three months, you know, two weeks. We own two years. And I know the reason why. We've talked about this before. I know, like, what's taking so long. But, like, damn. Hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Like, comment. It helps to push the video to other people like you and myself who may enjoy, you know, sitting down, talking shit, catching up. I don't know, girl. Just like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel. Anywho, let me do the intro to this video because I didn't even think about doing that. That's crazy. What's up, mama? Welcome back to my channel, girl. I just finished my hair, and we just did a whole lot of chit-chat and catching up. So if you're interested, make sure you're tapped in. Don't go nowhere. If you like, comment, and subscribe, because we're trying to get to a 1,000. I don't know if y'all understand how much that really helped your girl out, okay? Don't forget to do that, especially by the end of this video. And if you're on the TV, all you got to do is take your remote control, okay? Go up, all right? Then you're going to see like a little line to make you go forward or go backwards, like rewind, fast forward. Then you're going to see like all the little icons at the bottom on the top right hand side. You're gonna go up to a say channel. Then it's gonna say subscribe or a like. You can look at the comments. All that on your TV ain't no excuses, baby. Do that for me. Like it, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, I mean if you make this in the end, you, you should probably do that. Thank you. Done. That felt good.